Work out the area of each parallelogram. Be careful to use the correct length. So if we take the first one, the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. But what do we actually mean by the height? Well, that's the base in this case, and this is the height. The height actually refers to the perpendicular height, i.e. the one at the right angles to the base, not this one here. So what we need to do then is work out 6.2 times 4.3. So doing the calculation, uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 2 is 8, well we need to put down a 0 first, and then, then 4 times 2 which is 8, and then 4 times 6 which is 24. If we then add those together, 6 plus 0 gives me 0, 8 plus 8 gives me 6, carry the 1, 1 plus 4 plus 1 makes 6, and then we've got 2. Now, where do we put the decimal point? Well, in the question, we have one, two numbers. So in the answer, we, we move one, two, and the decimal point will go here. So if there's two, two numbers after the decimal point in the question, there's two in the answer. So that gives an answer 26.66 centimetres squared. Notice the units of area. Now, for the second uh, parallelogram, it's drawn on its side. The area of parallelogram... It, is still the base times the height. So the base will be this one. And note the height is what we call the perpendicular height. So this will be the base. And the perpendicular height is this one here, which is at 90 degrees to the base. So we don't need this piece of information here. So it's going to be 5.2 times 3.6. 5.2 times 3.6. So working that out, we've got 5.2 times 3.6. 6 times 2 makes 12, so it's 2 carry the 1. 5 sixes are 30, plus the 1 makes 31. Put in a 0. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 5 is 15. Add them together, we get 2 plus 0, which is 2. 1 plus 6, which is 7. 5 plus 3, which makes 8, and then a 1. We have two numbers after the decimal point in the question, therefore we move one, two, and the decimal point goes here. So we've got an answer of 18.72. So this has been a video to show you how to find the area of uh, parallelograms. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.